we're going to migrate access points from Zone Director to Smart Zone. Starting in Smart Zone Release 3.5, Zone Director AP migration is available via the GUI. In releases prior to 3.5, a migration tool is available for the migration. This tool can be found on the support portal. Now, with network connectivity, both Zone Director and Smart Zone need connectivity to each other directly. Further access points being migrated, they require connectivity to both Zone Director and Smart Zone. A good test for this is to ping both controllers from the access point. Now, if you have issues, this is a good time to check firewall rules, access lists, or any other type of filtering within your network. Before we start the migration, we always recommend that we review the release notes. The main thing we're looking for here is that we can verify that the firmware versions support the migration from Zone Director to Smart Zone. Further, we need to verify that the AP models are supported by Smart Zone. If the Zone Director access points are meshed, you can refer to the Smart Zone Administration Guide. In Zone Director, if authentication with Auth Server is configured, we need to disable it first. Also in Zone Director, we need to confirm that configuration, system, login warning is disabled. Lastly, in Zone Director, confirm that configuration, system, management access control is disabled as well. Each time a migration is ran, Smart Zone will create a new AP zone automatically and import the Zone Director configuration to it. To place APs in a different zone, the AP selection process enables this. Remember, do not power off the access point during the migration process. Network communication ports, UDP and TCP ports that are utilized in the migration are displayed here. This is a good time to pause the video and take a note. This is the Zone Director GUI. We're running version 10.1.2, and we see that we have two access points currently connected. The other thing we need to note is the IP address. This address is going to be entered when we migrate the access points. Now let's jump over to the Smart Zone tab and take a look at that. We have one access point connected, and we're running version 5.1.0. In order to start the migration, we're going to navigate to Administration, and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on ZD Migration. In this window, we're going to see that we have a space for the IP address and the admin credentials. We noted the IP address on Zone Director earlier, so we'll enter that into this field here. Admin credentials are what we have set on the Zone Director system. Once we've entered the IP address and our credentials, we're going to click on Connect. Smart Zone will now connect to Zone Director. Once Smart Zone has connected to Zone Director and executed the migration scripts, it's going to ask us to select the access points we want to migrate. Here we have a pretty clean install. We only have two access points connected. We're going to select both of those and add them to the selected access point list, and then we'll click on Accept. Now, once this piece is completed, we just need to click on Migrate to start the migration process. All right, once we click on Migrate, a window is going to pop up giving us information about the migration. Now, luckily for you, we've covered all of this in the video already, but if you want to pause here and read this more closely, you're more than welcome to. Once we're completed with this and we've reviewed it, we're going to click on Apply, and the migration process will begin. While the access point is upgrading, let's show you what's going on under the hood. Our access point is connected to Zone Director. We're migrating it to Smart Zone as we've discussed. Now the user on the left, that's us. So the first step is we've gone in, navigated to migration, input the data, and click Connect. Now we're going to get a Zone Director backup file and import that into Smart Zone, and then Smart Zone is going to upload the migration script to Zone Director. From there, we'll execute the script to get the access point info, and the access point info is transmitted back. Now, as the user, we go in and select the access points that we want to migrate, and then we begin the migration. Smart Zone then executes that migration script. This is where we are in the migration process. Now, as a user, we can check the status of the migration in the GUI anytime we want, but status will be reported back during some of these steps. Now, Zone Director is going to tell the access point to verify its connectivity to Smart Zone. We discussed this earlier. Firewalls, access list filtering can hinder this, so we need to ensure that we have connectivity. So once the connectivity piece is verified, we're going to report that status back to the GUI, and then we're going to trigger the AP to set the RPM key and download the migration firmware. 
Once that's completed and the migration firmware is received and loaded, we'll report that status back again. Now the AP is going to do a set factory and save the RPM keys and the access point will reboot. Okay, so our access point is offline as we can see here. The intention is that the access point should come back up online and be connected to smart zone. Now this is where the access point will do the smart zone discovery and report that status as it transpires. If we have a failure in this step, a retry will happen. After the migration report is completed, it's sent back, and then the access point will connect to Smart Zone, and we'll see that our migration is now complete. As the migration process finishes up, we're going to navigate to Access Points. Within the Access Point screen, there's a couple things that I want to note. First, we have two zones now. We have a default zone and a ZD zone. The ZD zone is where the Zone Director access points were migrated into. Further, we have three access points. They're all online. The two access points that we've migrated have been migrated successfully, and we can see that the software version running on the access point is 5.1, which is correct. Final piece, we just jump back into Zone Director real quick. We note that the access points are now disconnected because they've been migrated, and if we so choose, we can delete them from here. Congratulations, we've now migrated access points from Zone Director to Smart Zone. Check the description box below for great resources located on the Ruckus support portal. There you can find KB articles, documentation, videos, and more. Thanks for watching.